and welcome to HD Free to Play. Today we're having a look at a game called Magic Barrage. Now this is by Game Guys. I'm playing it on the Game Guys servers. Uh, there's also servers run by R2 Games. Um, however, dealing with previous R2 games, they seem to be very grindy. This is nothing like that, of course. It's it's a very cool and unique game. We'll get onto that. But from what I've seen from R2 games, they tend to produce grindy stuff that isn't really my taste. So I've gone with the Game Guys servers. I don't know. Apparently there's absolutely no difference between them. They're both located in America, but I'm playing on the Game Guys ones. You know, that's just personal preference. So let's get straight into it. Now, basically, I can't really do a review of this game without talking about um, Realm of the Mad God, because, well, it's obviously a massive clone of Realm of the Mad God. And that's a good thing, really, because, you know, that was a great game. And this adds a lot more depth to it and a lot more things to do. And, yeah, overall, it's pretty cool. So, you see here we've got our character selection screen. I've got two guys going off at the moment. Priest and a Warlock. You're allowed three characters uh, as a, you know, free player. VIP slots will unlock more. But, as you can see, wide range of people to be. We've got Warriors. Mar we've got Warriors. We've got Warriors. We've got Majors, Archers, Priests, Ninja, Paladin, Warlock, Assassin. So a good variety to keep you going. Good different lot of play styles. Obviously with a Mage you're doing most of the new damage. Priest heal. You know, simple really. Warrior tank. Um, so we won't make a character for now. What I'm going to do is I'll go in on my Healing Light character and just show you how the game works a bit. Um, I basically picked this up by chance. I was just scrolling through a list of games and I thought, oh, this looks interesting. Magic Barrage, it's, um, it's really cool. So, here we go. So, the first thing you'll notice is the screen's absolutely plastered with things to do. So, right now I've got my sign in thing. Let's uh, sign in. Oh, I've missed two days. Oh, well. And uh, basically, this is, a, you know, like all the Chinese sort of games have it. Apparently, this was made by some guys in California. So, I don't know why they've got all these Chinese y kind of free to play stuff. I don't know if I like these or not. I'm not, I'm not really a fan, to be honest, but. At the end of the day, it's extra free stuff and, you know, it gives you things to do. So there we go. So we've got a little reward for playing. Let's grab that. Got some stuff. I don't know what a lot of the stuff does. Um, I'm very sort of, you know, there's a there's definitely a lot of stuff to do in this game. So I'm still learning it all as it is. But let's uh, close down our quest window. What else we got? We've got a lucky spin thing. Let's spin this, see what we get. So it's full of these, like, chinese kind of things. Uh, we got... Oh, what have we got? What have we got? An REC card. Uh, cool. Oh, hidden items in the backpack. As a free player, one of the biggest gripes I've got with the game, and you know, I'm getting onto a gripe straight away, but it is quite a big deal for me. The inventory space you get is very limited. And to a lot more, you need diamonds, which is the pay to play currency. And really, I don't think, you know, I don't think the amount of they give you for how much stuff drops. I mean, you know, this is an action RPG, so it's, you know, stuff's dropping all the time. There's loot everywhere. You just don't really get enough item slots, and that's, uh, that's very tight on their part, I think. We've got a login bonus. Let's get that. We've got some more stuff. Another rec card. Rec kind of works like um, anyone that's played Realm of the Mad God will know that it's sort of permadeath. Once you die, unless you've got a special cash up item, that's it. You're dead. Your score gets saved on a scoreboard, and there you go. Now, this isn't like that. It's um, once you die, basically, you will lose some wreck, which is how good you are, sort of thing. It, you know, it increases your character growth, and you do get a quite a harsh penalty for dying once you pass level 20. I've not actually got there, but it will take you, um, you know, take your XP down. So there's a there's quite a harsh penalty for dying, which is cool because obviously you can't really have permadeath if you're going for like a more MMO kind of thing. I don't think Realm of the Mod God was ever meant to be you know, like an MMO, but it's turned out that way. It was a massive success. But this was made from the ground up to be, you know, a long-running MMO kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, basically, I'm just going to go into this place called Greenland. Now, this is the, the bit that kind of works like Realm of the Mad God. You've got this massive map. Let's let everything load. Uh, let's let the map load up here. Now, my internet's dire, so you can see here we're on the Banton Beach bit. And we've got all this stuff to go around. And as you'd imagine, you run around and shoot things. So, da -da -da -da. just like Realm of the Mad God, running around. Now, it's, it's branded itself as, uh, you know, it's like, a, um, what is it, bullet hell. I think that's what they call it. It's kind of thing. So, you see here, we've just got a normal shoot. We can toggle that onto a uh, free fire mode if we want. So, I'll just hit R. And now we just have to aim. And there's even a button you can press that will target the, the monsters, uh, you know, automatically as well. But I don't use that. I like to free aim. So as you see, the main mechanics is you're running around, shooting things. There's another player. 
shoot things, just killing things, grabbing the loot. So you see this bag here. You can pick up a wild chicken, a minnow, and a, uh, a shoddy cloth. Uh, so that just goes in there and adds to the stacks. Um, so yeah, this is the Greenland part, which is basically just a you know a massive map. Um, we can use our skills by pressing one. The skills in a sort of MMO kind of way, they do level up and you get different variations of skills. I've not unlocked my heal yet, but that's going to be my main thing as a priest. But, you know, quite simplistic gameplay. But yeah, it's a lot of fun, really. It's, it's something new and unique, which, well, I say new and unique. Obviously, Realm of the Mad God's done it before, but it is it's still a new-ish concept. And it works quite well, actually. It's, oh, a rare pet egg. I think I need that. Um, well, let's drop some shit. Come on, uh, what do we not need? Yeah, wild chicken can go away. Ah. Um, at the early stages of the game, I do think it seems that... Uh, oh, bollocks. Oh, I don't want wild chicken. This is why I think you should get, you know, at least a few uh, a few more inventory slots, because it's very tight. Let's have that red pet egg. There we go. Should be good. Um, so, yeah, basic gameplay, running around, just killing things. Um, there's uh, not that much to do apart from that, really. You run around, kill stuff, get the loot. Eventually, um, you know, after killing a certain amount of elites, sometimes a portal will drop and then you can go into like a boss world and fight bosses. But that's basically the Greenland part of the game. This is this is what's most been influenced by Realm of the Mad God, I'd say. To uh, to add to this, let me just exit here. So I'm just going to go back to town. Let's let it load again. I apologise for my dire internet. Everything all looked blocky and horrible. You see here we've got quests, so you go around, talk to the NPCs. It uses like a teleport feature, so you just uh, you know click where you want to go and they, it teleports you there. There's no like cooldown on that or any special item you have to use. It just flicks you around the map because, well, I don't know really. At the end of the day, they could have just had the you know the the quest added automatically, but they didn't choose to do that, and you know it only takes a few extra seconds just to double click that every time. So as you see here, we've got different stages. So apart from the, the Greenland bit, where it's all one open environment, you've also got these different stages. So we'll go to, uh, uh, we'll probably do Anrola on a normal. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll play. Now for this part, I'm just going to turn on the actual game sounds, just so you can hear what the game sounds like. I think uh, they've done a very good job on the stage music for this game. It sounds really cool, you've got like a really retro kind of 8-bit vibe. Uh, well, I'll put it on, you can see for yourself. Well, not this one. For a minute, so yeah, the, uh, the you know the music and sound effects. I mean, the sound effects be do begin to grate after a while. I don't think the sound effects were that good, but some of the stage music in this game. I mean, this uh, this level is not a very good example of it really because it's all just dark and moody. But some of the stage music you do get, you get like a proper thumping, like you know retro kind of you know back in the Mega Drive days or Genesis if you're American, that kind of soundtrack, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, you notice here we've got like a special thing, so we've got this uh, unique skill we can use. So let's get to a group of them, then we'll press Z and use that. Come on, give me all of them. I'm probably playing a bit of too easy a stage. Uh, so far the actual game has seemed pretty easy. So there we go, use my special skill there. The game seemed pretty easy up to now. Apparently it does get a lot harder as you go on. And I did try and attempt to do a dungeon on myself. So that was uh, that didn't go too well. <laughs> I ended up uh, just quitting out of that because I was using so many potions. So, uh, yeah, with the dungeons, basically you can group up, you know, do sort of instance dungeons, which are just like the stages like this, really, but obviously a lot harder. So, if we open the map and let it load, because I've got dire internet. Come on, map. I need to see where I'm going. So, you see here, we can see there, in every stage, the mission isn't usually to get to the boss. So, let's uh, let's make our way there, and we'll fight the boss. Do -do 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 or cool feature here is your proism that's basically it takes in all your like your skill levels and your armor and all your equipment and basically just gives you a quick easy readout of how good you are sort of thing so that's uh, pretty good it lets uh, it lets you when you equip new armor you can see if your proism goes up or down so that tells you if it's good for your class or you know it doesn't give you a, a very specific readout but you can generally see if you're getting better or not which is you know a little cool feature to have um, but yeah, the the actual gameplay is just you know it's very easy, quite fun. Um, 
just quite simplistic, but it's it's very sort of playable in its nature. You know, you could just sit down here, just you know, have a few ten minute rounds on this. It's it's quite good. So you see, here we've got the boss. Let's uh, let's take her out. We'll use our one skill a bit. We've got this AOE skill there. Just hit them a bit. So I've I've got absolutely no chance of dying. I could just stay in the, the middle of the bullets and not die here, which um, I don't know. I think that. Realm of the Mad God kind of got it right with that because even when you was at like you know level you know twenty I think it was the max and you even if you had sort of like mid tier gear you know you could have like tier five six gear and you could still if you played crap get owned but I think with this you know with the MM, they've made this more of an MMO kind of thing so it's you know once you get really high level gear you you're just not going to get touched by anything which you know kind of kills the replayability obviously you can do you can do different stages on different difficulties but. Yeah, I don't know. I think there should always be some kind of present danger with a game like this because, you know, when you just stood there, you know, not getting hurt at all, it's a bit it's a bit sort of boring. But yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much all I've got to say about this game. It's a lot of fun, something unique. If you like Realm of the Mad God, you should definitely try out this. Um Yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So I'm just gonna go back to the town here. Your chat window's good, you can see what kind of instances and runs are going off here. I'll try and start a dungeon actually, just show you that, because uh, I've got a quest to do actually. So I've got an ice wing cave, um, I kind of need to kill a boss from that, I need to kill the wind sea lion. So I could just click create, choose easy mode, let's confirm. And then I could just wait around and uh, invite people to try and join me on this uh, dungeon. Uh, I've not been very lucky with getting people to join my dungeon yet, because, well I don't know, I think everyone's over leveled at the moment, because... I just can't seem to find anyone, but yeah, we'll leave that. So yeah, there you go guys, Magic Barrage. Interesting game, a bit like Realm of the Mad God, but I think there's a lot more content and stuff to do. Things seem quite, uh, I wouldn't say, you know, too bad on the cash shop. There are some things that grate me, like as I said, the inventory space is very limited. You've also got a stamina kind of thing here, look, vitality. So while ever you're in the Greenland just killing monsters, that's going to take your vitality down. Every time you try a stage, that's going to take your vitality. But at the end of the day, I don't think that's too limiting, because you've got 120 there. You just saw through that play session I just had, I used, you know, 9. So, And then even again, it's it's not even account-wide, that's character-wide. So if you wanted to just switch between your characters, if you, you know, if you just couldn't get enough of this game, you could just switch on to another character and continue on that one, and you'd have full vitality on that. So... There you go guys, a uh, little run for of Magic Barrage, uh, hope you liked it, if you've got any questions or comments about the game, post them down below, I'll do my best to answer you, and yeah, check this one out, I'll put the link down below so you can you know, go on to it, as I said, there is two servers, Game Guys and R2 Games, uh, apparently absolutely no difference between them, but I would suggest, uh, if there's going to be different publishing rights, I would suggest going for the Game Guys, because R2 Games are a very grindy, very cash shoppy, pay to win kind of thing. So, there we go guys, thanks a lot for watching, subscribe for more, I don't know what my next video is going to be, um, there's not much on the MMO scene at the moment, I might even do some San Andreas multiplayer videos, I've been playing a lot of uh, Crazy Bob's pop, uh, Cops and Robbers, that's a lot of fun. So, thanks a lot guys, and I'll see you in my next video.